Hi, I'm Cheryl Leach. In this exercise, we're going to sketch a piecewise function, and then we're going to use that graph to determine what values of c does the limit of my function as x approaches c exist. First, let's go ahead and sketch the graph. We have a piecewise function, which means I'm going to sketch each tier individually. So I'll start out with my top tier of x squared. I know this is just a parabola whose vertex is 0, 0. However, I only want it to look like a parabola for values of x less than or equal to 2. So let's see. If x does equal 2, my y value will be 4. So that means that the point 2, 4 is on my curve. And then I know it looks like a parabola whose vertex is 0, 0. So that's the first tier of my piecewise function. Let's go ahead and look at the second tier. I have 8 minus 2x. That's a line. Okay? A y-intercept of 8, a slope of negative 2. Right? So here's my y-intercept of 8 and a slope of negative 2. It should come through about like that. But I only want it to look like a line for values of x between 2 and 4, not counting 2 and 4. Well, let's see what would happen at 2 and at 4. If x did equal 2, I would have 8 minus 4, which is 4. So the point 2, 4 would be on that curve, but I don't want to count what happens at 2. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have an open circle at the point 2, 4. Well, the thing that's interesting is that open circle happens to lie right on top of where my endpoint for my top tier was. So these two pieces are going to be connected. Now let's see what happens at 4. At 4, I'm going to have 8 minus 8, which is 0 which means I have an x-intercept. And again, an open circle because I don't want it to actually equal 4. So I'm going to have an open circle and kind of imagine this line with a y-intercept of 8 coming through and connecting these points together. Okay, That's my second tier. My last tier is f of x equals 4. That's just a horizontal line at level 4. This time, I do want to use this tier when x equals 4, so I'll have a solid dot at 4. So I'll come up here, the point 4, 4 will be on my curve, and I have a horizontal line. Okay, now that we have the graph, let's go ahead and look at the question. For what values of c does the limit of my function as x approaches c exist? Well, when I look at the, both the function and my graph, I notice that the tiers are all polynomials. The first one is x squared, a polynomial of degree 2. The middle tier is a line, that's a polynomial of degree 1. And the last tier is a polynomial of degree 0, that's just our horizontal line. So on the open interval of each of these tiers, my limits will always exist. In fact, they'll be the same thing as the function values. So what we're really interested in is what is happening at these changing spots. So I want to check what happens at 2, and I also want to check what happens at 4. All right, so let's see what happens as x approaches 2. From the left-hand side, I'm approaching the value 4. From the right-hand side, I'm also approaching the value of 4. So the limit of my function as x approaches 2 is 4. So the limit exists. Okay, let's check out what happens when x equals 4. As I approach from the left-hand side, my function value is getting closer and closer to 0. As I approach from the right-hand side, it's getting closer and closer to 4. They don't match. That means that the limit does not exist. So the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x does not exist. So to answer my question, the only spot that I'm having trouble evaluating my limit or where it doesn't exist is at 4. So where does it exist? Every place else. So from negative infinity to 4 and then from 4 to infinity. Notice the round brackets so I'm not including 4 in this interval. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.